Welcome back to Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, manood, at matuto. We are discussing mathematics lesson. In this video, we will discuss subsets of real numbers, including rational, irrational, integers, whole numbers, and counting numbers. Those are the subsets of real numbers. Okay? And let's go to our lesson. Okay. Bago yan, konting review muna tayo. Or yung mga subset of real numbers, i-define muna natin isa-isa. Okay? Nangunguna dyan yung real numbers. Okay. Real numbers are all numbers can be found in the number line. Alam natin kung ano number line. It is a line with those numbers na marami. Okay? Example of those real numbers, we have 0, 3, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 2 thirds, square root of 2, 0 0.65. Okay. Then the real numbers have two subsets. Okay. Which is the rational numbers. And rational numbers is a number that can be expressed in the form of a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not equal to 0. Then those examples are negative 2 thirds, 1 fourth, 6 over 7, 12, okay, that is a rational numbers because the denominator there, or the B, is positive 1. Okay, lahat ng whole numbers, meron denominator na 1. Okay, we have also negative 24, 0, then square root of 9, it is because square root of 9, the principal root is 3. We have square root of 20, negative square root of 25 because the principal root is negative 5. We have 0 0.75. It is rational because it is terminating. It means next stop. Okay. Now, the second subset of real numbers is irrational numbers. Irrational numbers, uh, asali pa pala, so rational numbers, yung repeating decimals. Okay. Irrational numbers is a number whose decimal representation is neither terminating nor repeating. These numbers cannot be expressed as a quotient of integers. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya terminating, hindi rin siya repeating. Yun ang irrational numbers. Example of that is ang pi, because alam natin na ang pi is 3.14 and so on. Okay? Then, square root of 2. Na alam naman natin, kapag hindi perfect square ang radicand, it means it is considered irrational numbers. Okay. Now, irrational numbers or rational numbers have different subsets. Okay. We have the first one is the integers or the integer. All, we all know that integers are all positive and negative numbers. Not a fractional number. Again, uulitin ko, hindi siya fractional numbers. But, it include 0. Okay? Sa integers, kasali ang 0. Okay? Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. 0. We have 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Next. Next to the integers, another subset is the whole numbers. Okay? Pwede sabihin natin na si real numbers, mga subset niya is rational and irrational. Si rational, subset niya si integers. Si integers, subset niya si whole numbers. And what is a whole numbers? All positive numbers, not a fraction number, including zero. Okay. Whole numbers, kasali si zero. Lahat positive numbers, then including si zero. Zero, one, two, three, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Okay, can have that one. Next, another subset, or the subset of full numbers also, is a counting numbers, or the natural numbers. Counting numbers or natural numbers are all positive numbers, not in fractional form or number, that we use to count. Okay, that is a natural number. Siyempre, 
kung magbibilang tayo, saan pa tayo magsisimula? Siyempre sa 1, di ba? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Okay? Those are the subset of real numbers. In Venn diagram, madali lang, kung i-draw natin siya into Venn diagram, our universal set is the real numbers. Okay, ganun diba ang Venn diagram? Okay, our universal set is the real numbers. Then the real numbers have two subsets, the rational number and irrational number. Then, sa rational number, pasok si integers kasi lahat ng rational numbers o lahat ng integers ay rational numbers pero hindi lahat ng rational ay integer okay, katulad ng fractions or decimals okay next the whole numbers okay is a subset of real numbers it is also a subset of rational numbers it is also a subset of integers. It is because whole numbers, lahat ng whole number, ay pwedeng integer. Bakit? Kasali si 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Okay. At nabibilang rin sila sa rational numbers. Next, we have counting or natural numbers. Okay? Which is subset pa rin siya ni whole numbers it is also subset of integers it is also subset of rational numbers and it, it is also a subset of real numbers okay? counting numbers magsisimula sa 1 okay, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on okay, now let's have this activity classify the real numbers to which subset or subsets of real number below table, we have number, whole number, integer, rational, and irrational. The first given, we have here 5, but the second given is 2, square root of 25, square root of 8, square root, and uh, negative 0 0.125, then 3 fourth, and negative 99. Then, 5. Okay. The first one, is this number 5 whole number ba siya integer ba siya rational ba siya or irrational siya okay. 5 it is a whole number yes it is an integer and it is rational okay it is a rational it is an integer because that is a positive number and it is a whole number Okay, kasi hindi siya negative. Then, hindi siya irrational. Okay? Hindi siya irrational. We will draw hindi siya irrational. Okay. Yun. Next. Zero. Zero is a whole number. Kasi zero magsisimula uh, a whole number is magsisimula sa Zero. An integer because an integer kasali si kasali ang zero. Then it is a rational numbers. Next, irrational in the kasi nga rational siya. Next, square root of twenty five. Square root of twenty five. Rational in the. Okay, rational. Bakit? Because the principal root of square root of 25 is 5. Tandaan that the radical or inside of the radical sign is a perfect square. And 25 is a perfect square, therefore it is rational. Now, square root of 25 is an integer. Okay. Now, if we will find the principal root then it is considered an integer. Okay? If it is a principal root. Now, if the principal root is an integer, which is 5, then it is also a whole number. Okay. How about of the square root of 8? Square root of 8. Rational or irrational? Rational or irrational? Tadaan. 
A. Perfect square? Hindi. Hindi siya perfect square. Therefore, it is irrational. Since hindi irrational, no need to answer all of this. Kasi, masasagutan lang ito kapag rational. Now, negative 0.125. Rational or irrational? Okay. Rational number. That is considered a rational number. Now, considered ba siya as integer? Hindi. Okay? Hindi po siya integer. Bakit? Kasi decimal point. Ang sa integer lang is not including the fractional form or the decimal numbers. Okay? Hindi siya integers. At hindi rin siya full number. Kasi nga, negative. Okay? That's it. Now, how about 3 fourth? 3 fourth. Rational or irrational? Rational or irrational? Okay. 3 fourth is rational. Integer ba siya? Okay. Integer? Hindi. It is in a fraction form. At lalong-lalo na, hindi rin siya whole number. Okay. How about negative 99? Rational or irrational? Okay. It is irrational. Okay. Even though it is negative 99. Next, sa tanong, integers or not? Yes, it is an integer. It is a negative number. At tanong na naman, whole number? Hindi. Okay? The answer is no. It is not a whole number because it is negative. Next, 5. Rational or irrational? Okay. It is irrational because it is non-terminating and non-repeating decimals. Okay? Now, at least, alam na natin kung paano siya i-identify. How about another example tayo? Determine what set of or sets of real numbers represent or represent the situation below. Example number one, the number of COVID-19 victims in the Philippines. It is accounting, whole numbers, integer, and rational numbers. Okay. How about if we will have the number of employees affected by the EBS-CBN shutdown? Okay? It is also accounting, whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers. Bakit? Dito sa number 1, balikan natin, COVID victims in the Philippines, syempre, nagbibilang tayo. Kapag nagbibilang tayo, it is belong to accounting numbers. Then, counting numbers, it is a whole numbers also. It is also an integers because it is a positive number. Then, rational numbers, it is a subset of all this. Next, so number 2, number of employees affected by the EBS, EBS CBN shutdown, syempre, the number of employees. It means, nagbibilang rin tayo ng number of employees. Kaya, the same ang sagot natin dyan. For the number 3, the ratio of teacher to the students inside the classroom if face-to-face -face learning program will be implemented is 1 is to 20. Now, 1 is to 20 in a fraction form that is 1 over 20. Okay, ang hirap magsulat. Okay, that is 1 over 20. That is in a fraction form and that is a ratio form. Therefore, ang sagot dito is... Okay, wala, wala. Wait lang, balikan natin yan. Ang sagot is rational numbers. Bakit? Kasi nga, it is in a fraction form. It is in a fraction form. The ratio. Miss fraction form, rational lang. Hindi pwede natin tawagin integers. Hindi rin pwedeng counting numbers at saka full numbers kasi naka-fraction form. Okay, number four. The percentage of the population live below the nation po poverty line in the Philippines. The percentage of population. Kapag sinabi natin percentage, it means that is on what? Rational numbers. Pwede siyang negative, uh, sorry, pwede siyang in decimal form or in 
fraction form. Okay? Next, number five. Maria went home empty-handed because her employer suddenly closed the business. Okay, we have here the word empty-handed. means wala. It means walang dala. Okay. By empty-handed, it means zero. Therefore, it is a whole number. Hindi siya counting kasi ang counting magsisimula sa one. It is also an integer because sa integer kasali pa rin si zero. And it is a rational numbers. Okay? And thank you for watching Mamati Tutorial. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hanggang dito na lang. Thank you for watching Pamati Tutorial. Makinig, matuto, at manood. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And share to others, to your classmates. Okay? If they have questions. Okay? If you have queries, if you have comments, kindly comments in the comment section. Thank you.